Welcome to Milos, the perfect Greek island where everyone's summer dreams come alive. Milos has become the rising star of the Greek islands because of its striking landscapes and pristine beaches. This island offers so much to explore. From the awe-inspiring lunar-like beach of Serikiniko to the mesmerizing turquoise waters of Piriplaka Beach. We guarantee that by the end of the video, you'll know exactly what to do and see in Milos this summer. And as we say in Greece, Ella Pane, let's go. When you think of the Greek islands, you think of beautiful crystal blue waters and amazing beaches, right? Well, here's one beach in Milos that's not to be missed, Piriplaka Beach. It's the second most popular in Milos and honestly one of the most beautiful. It has soft golden sand and plenty of space to lie out and enjoy getting a golden summer tan. Filiplaca lies along the southern coast of Milos and it's only a 20 minute drive from the port town of Adamadas. This brings us to our first travel tip. You absolutely are gonna wanna rent a car, ATV or scooter. The public transportation in Milos isn't the best and some buses can take you to the many places you're gonna wanna see. This beach is wonderful. We are in the second most popular beach here in all of Milos. So far, we can definitely see why this is the second most famous. It's one of those beaches you can stay at the whole day and truly enjoy relaxing by the Aegean Sea. There's little to no shade on the long stretch of beach, so be sure to bring your own umbrella or rent one. The most iconic feature at Filiplaca is the enormous rock about halfway along the bay. There's a natural archway carved in the rock that you can swim through too. If you're feeling adventurous, then you have to visit a beach right next to Filiplaca called Segrado. It's famous for its unusual and difficult way of getting down to the secluded beach. All right, let's go climb the sketchy ladder down to Segrado Beach. The process of getting down leads you into a small crevice on the cliff side. And from there, you climb down a not so official looking ladder. But hey, that's honestly part of the experience. Quick tip, be sure to wear sneakers. We saw some people with sandals and it was pretty challenging for them. We gotta say, this beach is not for everyone, but it's worth it if you want to hang out on a secluded corner of Milos. Sicrado Beach can get pretty packed during the midday, so little known tip that there's actually a little mini beach right next to it that you can just walk to. And there's nobody here. The beach's turquoise waters are best viewed from the top, and for us personally, we love the adventure of going down and back up. Okay, I made it out alive and in one piece. Now you've probably seen this moonlike beach splashed all over social media, and let's just say it's definitely worth the hype. This beach is what Milos is all about. Unique and beautiful landscapes, insta-worthy beaches, and a chill place to meet new people. And of course, push your limits and try some adrenaline-inducing cliff jumping. We suggest dedicating a whole day here since Ser Canico is truly the heart of Milos, and regardless of what time you go, it's still quite impressive. Make sure you bring everything you need for the day with you at the beach. There aren't many facilities, just one food truck to grab a bit of snacks and drinks. Quick tip, make sure you check the wind conditions before you go. Milos can get pretty windy. Use Windfinder or Windy to help you plan your itinerary. It's very hard to enjoy Serikiniko if it's windy and it could get a little dangerous since it would be hard to get out of the water. Use this day to visit beaches in the south like Sigrado or Firiplaka. Saracanico is unlike any other beach in Greece. It's a photographer's dream with its stunning bone white rock formations giving off a moon-like appearance and otherworldly vibe. We woke up early one morning to watch the sunrise at Saracanico and we were absolutely stunned. If you're an early bird, we highly recommend watching the sunrise here. You won't regret it. We are at the beach, the one and only beach in Milos that everyone is talking about, Saracanico. Let's go. During the day, this place turns into a total vibe and can get pretty packed. Luckily, there's plenty of parking. As you walk from the parking lot to the beach, you'll see an area where people are laying out near the rock formations. Here you can lounge and enjoy the still and calm water. Now, if you're feeling a little more adventurous, keep walking and you'll eventually end up on the cliffside where people are hanging out, making friends, and of course, egging each other on to jump into the water. This spot is what Milos is all about. Are you ready to cliff dive? Let's do it. The cliffs gradually slope, so you can first jump from a lower spot before building up the courage to jump from the top. Here we go. One, two, two, three, jump. I myself was pretty terrified once I looked down before jumping. I'm usually not this scared, but my fear got the best of me. Can I please get a like for facing my fear and actually doing it? Daniel, on the other hand, jumped from the highest point. What an animal. 
I won't be doing that again. Comment jump down below in the comments if you would jump here too. It was fate that we would meet an awesome and sweet couple from New Zealand. Shout out to Theo and Sammy. Just wanted to say you guys made our trip to Milos even more memorable. By the way, we made you guys a free downloadable summary of the top things to do in Milos. Link in the description below. Milos is known for its unique and colorful fisherman villages. A quick Google search and we guarantee that the seaside village of Klebat will show up. It's definitely taken on a new level of fame over the past five years, thanks to the many social media photos out there. And I mean, can you blame them? We are in the fishing village of Klima and it's so colorful and so unique. So if you come here to Milos, definitely check it out. Walking down the village only takes a few minutes. Grab a few photos here and enjoy the tranquility of this place. Bonus tip, locals say this is an awesome spot for sunset. Mandrake is another picturesque fisherman village located on the northern coast of the island. We suggest parking at the top, getting a look at the awesome view, and a photo worthy of Instagram. Since there isn't much to do in the fisherman's village, it's a quick visit. While you're enjoying the view from the top, head over to the restaurant most famous for its sun-dried octopus for 20 euro to get a real flavor of the Mediterranean cuisine in Milos. We're about to eat in the most famous place in all of Milos. This restaurant is known for its grilled octopus. It's supposed to be the best on the island, so we're gonna give it a try. First bite. <laughs> it's a do not miss restaurant. Don't believe me? Check out the photos of Tom Hanks and Justin Bieber on the wall. If that doesn't convince you, then I don't know what will. As a bonus, we'll take you to a not so known beach in Milos. Just a few minute drive from Andrakia is the hidden beach that is worth the trip. This is Filipotemos. This place is missed by many tourists, but if you have some extra time, we suggest you make the quick drive and check it out. It has a stunning turquoise hued beach, perfect for lounging in the sun, as well as a quaint fisherman's village where you can take some pictures and explore before you drive off to your next destination. We are now in the town of Placa here in Milos and it is such a great, beautiful town. We suggest you walk around and just get lost. You can visit Milos without dropping by its capital town of Placa. This is a very quaint Greek island town with plenty of restaurants, bars, and coffee shops to choose from. It's definitely a picturesque Greek island town you can enjoy taking a quick stroll in and around the pedestrian streets. If you walk up to the Venetian castle of Placa, it gives you an epic view of the ocean in town. This is a local favorite and it's also considered one of the best sunset spots in Milos. There really isn't a bad sunset spot on this island, but there are a few places that steal the show. The first includes the Venetian castle. Right before sunset, you can see a bunch of people heading up the hill to the castle to reserve a spot to watch the sunset. Personally, this was one of our favorite sunsets in Milos and it was truly epic. The town of Placa was so cute, but just be aware that it's a very, very tiny town. <laughs> you can walk it in maybe a minute or two. Yeah. <laughs> if crowds aren't your thing, then we have just the right place for you to enjoy the sunset at Platanea Beach. So our Airbnb host, who is a local here, recommended this one very special sunset spot and we're here to see it. The reason she recommended this spot is because you can see the sun melt right into the ocean. What made the sunset our favorite was the fact that the sun is setting directly into the ocean. Super cool and unique sunset to watch. This sunset spot is a true local's recommendation. What did you think about the sunset? It was so beautiful. It's been so long since I've seen something so beautiful. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Lastly, we can't end this video without talking about the sunset in Cerro Canico Beach. When we got there for sunset with our new friends, there were plenty of others waiting to see it too. It tends to be an epic place to watch the colors of the sky change as the sun sets over the horizon. So now we've shown you three spots for the sunset. This one, absolutely stunning. Whether you're looking for a relaxing turquoise beach to lay out in the sun or a fun packed day cliff jumping off one of a kind lunar like beach, Milos has something for everyone. You'll make unforgettable memories guaranteed and that's what makes it the perfect island. I jumped with glasses too. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> Looks like you got shit stains. We're getting 
so not better at this. <laughs> We're terrible at vlogging. That's okay. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying it at home. <laughs> I'm gonna need a new swimsuit. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Can I do a little, that little whistle? <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. 